Hey, this is Scott, and today we're going to be talking about the Think Tank Turnstile 20. If this is your first time to this channel, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos and hit subscribe if you want to see more in the future. So first up, Think Tank did send me this bag to review, so thank you to them, but that's where our communication stopped. This review will be 100% my own opinion after having used it for a few weeks. So this bag is very compact. It comes in three sizes, the 5, the 10, and the 20. I have the 20, and even at the largest size, it's very, very compact and fits very snug and tight and comfortable to your body. At the same time, it holds a surprising amount of gear compared to how it looks on the outside. I'll throw some clips up now to show some different configurations, but you can fit quite a lot depending on how you have this set up. A couple of ways that I've used it is to put two full frame DSLRs with lenses attached. Keep in mind that one of them will have to be a shorter lens because of the raindrop shape of this bag. I've also often used it with one camera with lens attached and two extra lenses and a couple of little accessories, plus all kinds of accessories in the pockets on the inside and outside of the bag. You can also fit an iPad in the slot in the back or on the slot on the inside of the bag. The strap of course is adjustable everywhere from a very large size to a size small enough to fit my 4 year old son. There's a velcro loop on the bottom of the strap to avoid the loose end flapping around which is very appreciated as well as an elastic band to tuck in any extra that you have which I do need because I'm actually pretty small. This is a sling style bag so it sits across one shoulder and the main backpack sits on your back. You can swing it around to the front for easy access and the zipper opens wide enough that you have easy access to your gear, but it's not so wide that things are going to fall out. There's a rain cover included which tucks away on the outside of the bag which is appreciated since it doesn't take up any extra space inside the bag. The shoulder strap can also change position to work as a waist strap, although I've never personally used that feature. One feature that I really do like is the fact that the strap has a buckle on it. So if you've ever had this happen, you'll know how convenient a buckle could be especially in the winter with bigger jackets, sweatshirts, and hats. Since the buckle does carry a lot of the weight, I think they could slightly improve it by changing to some kind of double lock system, for example a 3 button release instead of 2. The buckle itself is very strong, but this could help to avoid any accidental release of the strap. One other small complaint that I had is the front pocket is very tight. Some sort of elastic material or slightly expandable design would be very much appreciated. Finally, there's a small strap on the top that allows you to grab the bag when you're not wearing it, which is very convenient. So before I used this bag, I thought it would be very useful for going out with small amounts of gear. I had to rethink that though, because you can actually fit a lot of stuff in this bag. It's been really, really useful in a number of situations, not only on days out with the family. This is the Turnstile 20, so it's the biggest of the three sizes, but if you were going to get this bag, I honestly recommend getting the 20, unless you're using some sort of mirrorless system or smaller bodies. So to summarize in a couple of words, this bag is convenient, effortless, and comfortable. I would highly recommend it to anyone who's looking for a smaller size, easy access bag that can still carry a lot of gear. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. I would love to hear from you. Tell me what you think if you've used this bag, if you haven't, if you want to, and I'll try my best to get back to every single one of you. I'll throw a link to this bag down in the description below, so if you're interested, please check it out. As always, thanks for watching.